to do. Perfect. Got set up in a spot earlier. I've got a pig in front of me who's looking at either some other pigs or deer that I saw. Back this way. I've got another doe coming in. It looks like a solo. Maybe it's a spike. I haven't looked at it in the binoculars about 150 yards away still. And I just saw an odd dad coming down the hill. So got a lot of action going on already. Definitely gonna try my best to get some meat on the ground so I can focus on hunting for a trophy the rest of the trip.
my god. It smacked him hard. And he ran out of sight. Well, just out of the corner of my sight. I just shot that buck. I saw him. I, I got a good shot on him. I saw him run to the right. And he, I saw him crash. I saw his legs kick up. He's down for sure. I'm excited that I got something for Honey to trail. And I know this deer well. I'll throw some pictures up right here. But he was running buddies with the buck I'm early after called the Blind Ten. Uh, I think this deer is probably a little bit older than the Blind Ten. Uh, he used to be a five by three, then he was a nine point. Uh, he's just a big six point. I've shot a big six point out here before. <clears throat> but that was, I just, I have history of that deer and I know he's an old deer. He's, he's no younger than seven. Um, and every time I shoot or get excited really, I get buck fever. I have back spasms. I don't know why. My lower back is lit on fire right now. But as you can hear, that odd hat is still out there. Hammering away. Uh, the feeder hasn't even spun yet. Shouldn't spin any minute. So I'm just going to sit tight. That was one bullet down. I still got three. different big game animals all legal to shoot and you don't know what else is coming Of, of this tent. I got a picture of him right here that's uh, from 2017 and in the background is actually the buck that, that I just shot. I actually, I have uh, his right, I can't tell from this angle, but I, on the on the ten pointer I found that shed. It's got some real uh, identifiable Devil's Points has got like three kickers. I actually found that shed two years after he dropped it. And here's the deer that I just shot. He was definitely bigger a few years ago. That's also 2017. Uh, on the decline, no doubt about it. And if this is the blind tin that I just saw, he's definitely on the decline. It looks like he lost maybe 15 inches. He used to have a kicker off of each G2, which was real cool. Still waiting to see if he's gonna show himself. I would love to just find out if it is him, because 
if it is indeed him and he has gotten that much smaller, it'll kind of just be like oh, almost like a weight off my shoulders that I don't have to go chase after this buck because I've been trying to get him for a few years now, but if he's that far downhill, you know, might as well just let him ride it out and watch him see what he does. Well, no sign of him yet. He either went up this mountain or he bedded down in this big oak flat, kind of on a ridge above a draw right here. I'm pretty sure it was it was him though. Yeah, and he's always uh, in the past had light horns, pretty widespread and short pines. And I just saw a, a ten pointer that matches all of those. <clears throat> but he was definitely I mean, he was maybe 115 inches last year. I'd say he was probably 135 somewhere right in there. I didn't see any kickers on him. I got my binos on him for maybe 15 seconds. He was through the brush. What deer is this? Oh, spike. Yeah, there's definitely a couple deer in there. I keep on hearing him sneeze and kicking rocks and stuff. But he's not coming in. We'll see. I'll wait a little longer and then I'm going to go get honey. i to trail this deer that's already down. <clears throat> but this is a three buck county so not tagged out by any means but i'm real happy to have some meat in the freezer didn't get milk this year that's a pretty good sized white tail buck for out here as far as body goes so pretty cool all right got my hunting partner we're about to go recover this buck you excited to hunt it up honey yeah that's the word right there she gets serious hunt it up Oh yeah, we're about to go do it. This is actually going to be uh, her first real track. We've done a lot of mock tracks. Robert saved me some blood off of a doe he killed a couple weeks ago. So we've been running some exercises at home, but this is going to be the first one, uh, this first live one, and it's actually going to be shorter than most of our practice tracks have done. We only ran about 80 yards or so, and we've been practicing around 150, 250. Uh, not sure how much blood he was spilling. It was a little too far for me to see that, but I know he's dead. Um, honey's gonna get to do her first track. All right, we're gonna see how this goes. Honey, here. This is where he's standing, is at this tree. Honey, here. Come here, hunt it up, hunt it up. Good girl, hunt it up, hunt it up. Yep, I see blood, good girl. Hunt it up. Hunt it up. Good girl, honey. Good girl. Good girl, honey. You did the hunt it up. Now you hunt it up. That's right. That's right. Good job. Good job, honey. Good job. Yeah. You did good. You went right to him. Not a uh, not a huge wreck. That's no surprise. Come over here. Come here. Honey, heel. <laughs> Not a huge rack, but a pretty big body. And that was why we shot him. So happy to get some meat on the ground and in the freezer or on the way to it. Let's see where the entrance is right here. And looking at the exit, I saw that shoulder swinging. Loaded with ticks, honey, so you're gonna have to be careful. Yeah, that's broken. Good exit. No, it's right here. Hey, that's a lot of blood, okay, you bloody dog? Here's the bullet. Actually just came apart right there as I pulled it out. A little piece here. Got the jacket and the core. Maybe that's focused, maybe it's not. Just, it was in the offside shoulder, but got him down. 
Well, that's a wrap. Hill Country Buck down. Wasn't the buck we were after, but a uh, great one nonetheless. I'm happy with him. Like I was saying, I, I needed some meat in the freezer, and that's a, a big bodied buck for out here. And I got to get hunting on a live track. We didn't make it happen yesterday, but uh, made up for it today. If you like these videos, make sure you like and subscribe. We got plenty more coming.